guys, Matt, welcome back to the shop, and this is just a bit different, a bit of a different format, getting outside, it's not fucking pissing it down, winter is, it's fucked. Right, so, um, this is going to be a long video in the making, um, and I'm going to try and do some videos like this, not just on the spot, or what I call live, so, you know, in the front of the video I say, hi, my name's Matt, do the video, and blah, 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 any road. That's enough about the ship, maybe you've just come to see what the title's about. Um, so we have the SV, I'm just doing some other stuff that I'm doing videos on, you'll see all that in the near future. However, um, I give uh, Evans a good bashing over this last year about how shit this stuff is. Uh, how shit stuff, how, bleh, 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 how shit that stuff is. And um, it's time to put my money where my mouth is, let's have a look. So, what I've done is I've gone and bought two bottles of this shit. So this is Power Spot R, and this says, uh, improves fuel burn for maximum break horsepower, eliminates boil over and lowers pressure. No water, no boil over, no pressure, all the usual shit. However, this stuff has got a motorbike, not like a trials bike or an off-road bike. Technical partners with Honda Racing World Motocross Team, which doesn't help us here. <laughs> Fucking wildlife. Uh, Power Sport R is suitable for use in all road and race bikes with aluminium alloy engines. For all the bikes with cast steel engines, we recommend Classic Cool 180. Right then. So, let's just talk uh, brass. This cost me 54 quid. 54 quid, because you can only buy two litre bottles of this shit. The 180 and stuff for cars and stuff is more. You can get like five litres or whatever. But these two bottles is 54 quid because this bike takes 3.2 litres off the top of my head and obviously two and two, yeah. But it's not only that, because we're going to do it properly, as they state, I have got some of the prep fluid. Now hold your fucking breath, because this cost, so this is the Evan stuff, this is uh, five litres. You can get a two litre one, but then I thought, well, maybe they're going to argue the toss that it's the same the other way. So this is the prep fluid, uh, engine flush with waterless coolant, formula to hydros hygroscopically absorb water while flushing loose dirt and scale from your cooling system. We'll fucking see, because we're actually going to look at what we flush out of it. We're going to catch it all, see what it actually flushes out. That's just a plastic bag, I don't need that shit. So what we're going to do is we are going to flush this system with the Evans prep, put the Evans in, we're going to run the bike, we're then going to empty the shit out because it's rubbish and I don't want it. Um, but we're going to have the data logger, so we're going to measure the uh, temperature of each cylinder and ambient, and we're going to basically um, subtract the ambient. The problem is, is the, the, doing all these tests in one day is pretty much impossible. Um, so what I'm going to do is, we're going to run the Evans, we're going to take the ambient temperature, and we're going to subtract the ambient temperature from um, the the recorded temperatures of each cylinder for the simple fact is then we can basically negate the fact that if I ride this on one day and ride this on another the other thing I'm going to do is uh, we're going to ride it for, uh, basically I'm going to ride around Cambridge and we'll let the bike get up to temperature so the fan comes on as soon as the fan comes on then I'll set off not the instant but that's what I want to warm it up as it's sat idle um, and saturate the frame and all the shit I was talking about we're then going to ride the same route, so I'm going to go from here to the petrol station, top up, go round Cambridge, and then we're going to go from Cambridge to Bedfordshire, so there's a dual carriageway so we can get up to the speed limit, up to 70, and then we're going to get to Bedford, go around Bedford a bit, stop, let the bike cool down for 15 minutes, and then I'm going to set off again and do basically the reverse of the route I've just done, and with that we should have a good um, city out there you know at decent speed so you get the decent airflow and then back to city and back to decent airflow then back to the city again once we've done all that i'll drop this shit out of the bike 
we will then put uh, water, just pure H2O, we're going to put just water in the bike, run that. I'm not too bothered about corrosion because it's only a short test. So we'll flush the shit out with water so there's no Evans crap left in there. We'll run um, just pure H2O, get the temperature, same course in a sense, um, get the temperatures for that. Then we're going to run 50 50. And then we're going to, well, no, sorry, we're going to run water with uh, water wetter. So we'll just add a bit of water wetter to the water that's already in there, flush all that out with water, and then put 50 50 back to the way that the manufacturer states. This is the intro to this because obviously these videos are going to be quite long if I string them all together. Um, but this video is going to be us dropping the fluid and putting the oven shit in. Hope that makes sense and I haven't finished. <laughs> right then, first thing we need to do is we need to drain the old coolant out. We're going by Evan's instructions on this shit. I forgot to mention it before, this was 50 quid was this shit. 50 fucking quid. Right, it says drain existing coolant from the entire exist cooling system, including heaters and all hoses. Fill with Evans prep fluid and to flush out loose dirt, scale, and residual coolant. Run the engine until normal operating temperature is reached. Allow to cool and redrain the system. Fill with the appropriate Evans waterless coolant. I've had a, uh, an SV650 for fucking years before I got this, and I never knew that that was the drain. <laughs> I was always doing it here, like an idiot. So let's pop this bad boy out. Yeah. I'll sit here for an hour and watch this. Right then, so what we're going to do is we're going to crack this brand new bottle of shit open. Like so, of course it's got 600 Johnnies to stop it spilling everywhere. And the other problem is that I have no... Is that clear? Let's have a look. It's clear. Of course it is, because it's ethylene glycol. Why do they put them spouts that castor oil has on it, fucking wankers, so it doesn't gargle? Fucking <laughs> you bitch. Fucking wind! Oh, bloody hell. I'll tell you what, if I hold on this side, it won't gargle as much. got a mark on it. Oh god, so I had five litres in it. I nearly put a litre in it. Ooh, go and suck it up. You greedy bitch. <laughs> right, I'll put a litre in it. How much are you paying? Uh, three, oh, fucking Nora. Uh, 3.2, I think. Oh. Can you uh, stick the exhaust back on? It is. It is. It's been pinched. I don't know. It should be somewhere. Find it. <laughs> hey? So the problem is, is our thermostat's not open. 